Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adas. Today I'm going to be unboxing this one company, Dustbowl. Here off the bat, you can see on the front of the box an image of the Dustbowl. On the left side of the box, this is the image of the presentation case. On the right side is the presentation case with the Dustbowl inside and the little LED in the middle that lights up when you open the case. On the back, a description of what it is so it's a display grade electronic replica highly accurate metal shell with fine detail premium painted finish advanced touch and proximity sensing technology gorgeous lift to display presentation case with touch sensing illumination individually numbered and batteries included so without further scooby ado let's get it open the latest version of this well, actually, before we say that, the first thing you're greeted with is the manual, the instruction manual, I'm guessing. We don't need that. And then a styrofoam on the inside. Yeah, so the latest one was the Premiable, which I've already done an unboxing. Link in the description down below, guys. And then this is the one before that. So, right off the bat, you can see. In this plastic sleeve. The first thing you get ooh, is a black version of the presentation case for the DOS. Oh, this one's really nice. There's a front of the DOS pack. But oh, this one's very nice. At the bottom, this is where the battery is housed, and you pull this tab, release the battery, and then when you open the presentation case, there you go, there's the lights. So that's the white light, white LED, and then if you touch the black, it changes color, so that's red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Cyan, cyan, light blue, and I'm back to white. And that is the colors of the case. And then at the bottom, where the batteries are housed, you're gonna need a screwdriver for this. Is where the ring, the display, the pokeball, dust ball itself outside of the presentation case here is the ring that you use to display the pokeball dust ball outside of the case just lay it on top like so and there you go all right and now moving on to the dust, the dust ball in its own little sleeve oh my this looks beautiful green and the black with the orange ring I'm gonna say and then another pull tab for the battery release so on that there you go I'm wondering though because of the color of the button how is the LED gonna work with this one all right so let's give it a try so if you hold the button for like two seconds it should turn on there you go. oh so it does oh because of the why is it turning off there you go it's more red than it is white on the other pokeballs normally it glows white but this one's like a more i don't know if it's because of the orange but it glows more like a reddish reddish orange and then i think there's like a 50 50 why does it keep turning off you hold it like this if you press the middle button while it's on, there's like a 50-50% chance it will turn red or green. Red being if you didn't catch a Pokemon, and then green being if you captured it. So let's see. So flash a couple of times. And that's the red one. It doesn't look that great on camera because of the colour, I think. But that was the red one. That was red again, so that was a fail again. Oh, 
Wow. It's only going red. It hasn't gone green. Normally it goes red, green, red, green. And there we go, there's the green. You can't tell the difference on camera, but maybe you can't, I'm not sure. I don't think you can tell the difference on camera because of the orange. But yeah, that's the colours. And then you can display it on the Pokeball like on the presentation case like so. There you go. This thing, the Pokeball itself actually has quite a bit of weight to it as well, so don't go throwing it. There you go. And then while it's in the presentation case. Something like so. Hopefully you can see the light. There you go. And that's how it looks in the presentation case. Here is a look at the difference between the black presentation case of dust ball of the dust ball and the silver presentation case of the premier ball. These are plastic and quite loose when you don't hold them together. Hopefully you can hear that. There you go. On the right side you have the Premier Ball and on the left side the Dust Ball, this is the difference between them. So, and as you can see, on the Premier Ball the white LED is a lot more white than it is on the Dust Ball where it looks a bit more on camera, I think on camera is a bit different. And why does this Dust Ball, the touch sensitivity on this Dust Ball is a bit off I think. In my eyes it's more orange, to the camera it's like a bright reddish orange I guess. There you go. And then you can display them like so. So currently they have a Pokeball, a Great Ball, a Ultra Ball, a Master Ball, Premier Ball and the Dust Ball in their lineup of premium display grade Pokeballs. I currently have 4 out of the 6, I'm looking to pick up the Great Ball soon. The Master Ball was a limited run and released when I had no clue about these Pokeballs in the first place. Right now, it's on the market price for quite a lot, so I don't know when I'll be picking that up. And that is the One Company Dust Ball unboxing. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and see you on the next one. Peace.